Hello, have you heard about the ever willing Jesus? That is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is your life boy today, and your life boy today is always all about the ever willing Jesus because he wants you close to him. Today is Sunday, the 22nd day of January 2023, the third Sunday after epiphany in the calendar year of the church and your life boy today telling you about the ever willing jesus today wants you to read from the gospel according to saint matthew in chapter 8 and if you are set to go quickly to read now when he came down from the mountain great cloud crowds followed him and behold a leper came to him and knelt before him saying lord if you will you can make me clean and he stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gifts that Moses commanded for a proof to the people. As he entered Capernaum, a centurion came forward to him, beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying paralyzed at home in terrible distress. And he said to him, I will come and heal him. But the centurion answered him, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof, but only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I am a man under authority with soldiers under me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard him, he marveled and said to those who followed him, Truly I say to you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. I tell you, many will come from east and west and sit at table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. While the sons of the kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness. There men will weep and gnash their teeth. And to the centurion Jesus said, Go, be it done to you as you have believed. And the servant was healed at that very moment. This is the gospel of Christ. First to Christ our Lord, who is ever willing to do good. He was anointed and he went about doing good. You'll find that in the Acts of the apostles in chapter 10 i believe is verse 38 and that's the ever willing jesus for you he was always ready to attend to whichever case if he had to go he go he would go if he had to speak the word he would speak the word or if he was touched by the helm of his garments he would let the virtue go out of him for some he would bend down to uh, roll some mud and, you know, put it on the eye that needed to be healed, and it will be healed. For some, it will say, go and wash uh, in a, a, a particular river, and your leprosy will be completely clean. But there was always something that he was ever willing to do. That's Jesus for you. So it's left for you now. Are you also willing to latch onto that Jesus? Are you willing to bring your problems onto him? What is that problem that you have? Is it personal to you? Is it about your family? Is it about your community? Is it about your state? Is it about your church? Is it about your school? Is it about your place of work? The ever willing Jesus is ready to touch any situation, whether personal or corporate, and to heal such situations and to bring you out of distress into a life that is glorious unto his name and for your own enjoyment. So 
why waste time so let me send an invitation to you if you yet do not know that jesus because at his name all knees bow so is it ill illness that is warning you at the name of jesus the illness goes is it um, whatever thing that you are thinking about if i pray for you now that at the name of jesus now the ever willing jesus all your distresses will go today in jesus name but you need to come to him so that you can of your own accord also call him, have a relationship with him, invite him into your situation and be assured that he is there for you. Are you set for Jesus now? Are you set for the ever willing Jesus? If you are set for that experience, you need to say a prayer. Say this prayer after me right now. If you know you are set for that ever willing Jesus. Say, Lord, I come also willing to come to terms with you today. Forgive me of all the sins of the past let your light come into my life that i may from today recognize that your being ever willing would also make me ever ready to accept you to do your will give me the grace that from today i can also proudly announce that i am a born again christian do it for me lord i pray through jesus christ our lord Amen. If you said that prayer, welcome to the fold of Christ. It's as simple as that. All you need to do to continue to have a good relationship with the ever-willing Jesus is that you find a Bible-believing church where you can grow in the faith. I always recommend that if you are in Oshobo, Ocean State, Nigeria, come to the Anglican Church, Oroki, as an extension. Now, we are still in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Onyikon and Gokyomibon Drive, Oroki, State Extension, Oshobo. You can join us today for our Sunday service at 9 o'clock. That's the only difference that has come upon our service schedules now. We meet at 9 o'clock now every Sunday. And if it's for a midweek service that you want to join us, it's now going to be a Tuesday. And it's still the same 5 p.m. at the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools. Now as you go out today, for everybody, let's say this prayer. Say, my Father, kindly speak a word and heal me today. You, the ever-willing Jesus, as I call you into all my situations today, in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today. Remember that the ever-willing Jesus is always ready to touch your situation and make it better for you. Go out today. Come to the Anglican Church of the Extension and it will be well with you. God bless you. I call you faithful. I call you faithful.